The first day of summer starts off with a series of raids across the GTA and in the city's West End. Police announcing this morning they've taken down a large portion of a street gang with international ties. 70 people were arrested after an early morning blitz that involved about 800 officers. And the individuals arrested are alleged to be part of the Five Point Generals, a gang that is said to operate out of right here at Weston and Lawrence. We're talking about street gangs, street gangs that, that utilize firearms for business processes and uh, have uh, no hesitation in using firearms. And when we talk about our, our gun play in the city, the street gangs play a, a huge, a massive role in, in that type of activity. According to police, the gang is responsible for numerous shootings in the city, especially in the West End. You've likely heard of them before. The generals have allegedly been linked to multiple killings in the past two decades. 15 year old Jane Krebo was killed when she was caught in the crossfire of a shootout between rival gangs in 2005. The five PG were allegedly involved. Then there was 11-year-old Ephraim Brown. He died after being caught in the crossfire of a gang shootout in North York in 2007. Two men charged in Brown's death were accused of being five PG members, although they were later found not guilty. Two years later, following a series of violent crimes, police launched Project Corral. Dozens of people with ties to 5PG were arrested during early morning raids. And in 2013, four members of the gang were convicted of drug trafficking and criminal organization charges. Criminal lawyer John Struthers says these kinds of raids do not result in long-term change. Well, you can lock up these people for a thousand years. You can lock up the next people for a thousand years, but you're basically doing exactly the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It's not going to work. Jail is a failure. You've got to get the root causes and keep people from joining gang. You have to end the war on drugs. It creates warriors. Al Capone and the gangsters in Chicago don't exist anymore for alcohol because they legalized, regulated, and controlled alcohol. All of the current arguments being made to legalize marijuana are exactly the same for all drugs. There's no magic pill to, to community safety. Uh, the Toronto Police, we, we play one strong element. That's the enforcement piece. But I, I really do think if we're going to get this right, and I've said this before, there has to be uh, more holistic solutions. Police seized numerous drugs and firearms as part of those raids, but things like names, charges, and just how much they seized, well, that hasn't been publicly released yet, although police say they will do that tomorrow. Now, if you want to see a full timeline of 5PG's history in our city, you can go to our website, citynews.ca.